Before leaving 7114 North Chase, I gotta tell you this story because it's so funny. I came out of that door across this grass and I used to park my car right there on the driveway. And it was going somewhere early in the morning and lo and behold, I stepped, yes, you guessed it, on dog poo poo. I hate stepping on dog poo poo. As a matter of fact, I don't have a dog because I don't like dog poo poo. And I don't like to step on dog poo poo. And it's so terrible because it's not even my dog, it was somebody else's dog poo poo. And I didn't know whose dog it was. And so what I did is I spied out my window morning after morning and I figured out whose dog it was two doors up from me. The man would walk his dog and every morning right there dog poo poo on my yard. And man, I was so upset. I, I just didn't know what to do. So I thought, how can I kill a dog without the owner ever knowing? And I figured out the most dastardly way. I won't even tell you because it would work and you would never ever be found out. And so I was contemplating this dastardly deed to kill the dog who pooped on my yard. I pay the taxes, I own the house, and why do I have to step on that poo poo regularly? Because I would forget from some morning to some morning. Well, one day as I was planning the deed, the Lord broke through and began to speak to my spirit. He says, do you know what I want you to do? And I was so dumb, I go, yes, Lord. Do you know a better way to, to get rid of the dog? And the Lord says, yes, my plan is the most perfect plan. I go, what is it? He says, I want you to forgive that neighbor and let that dog go poo poo in your yard. I knew he was going to say something like that. I didn't even want to hear. You know how the Lord always tells you to do something that you don't want to hear. And so I go, Lord, I don't want to hear that. I want to think of a way that you're going to tell me to get rid of the dog when I would never be discovered. He says, be sure your sins will find you out. If you do what you are about to do, it will get out. Believe me. And what will your witness be? How will you ever be able to share the Lord with your neighbor if he found out you killed his dog for going poo poo in your yard? And I knew he was so right. So I was faced with the only dilemma forgiveness. So I began to forgive. And then I intentionally came out. I was so healed. I came out every morning looking for the dog poo poo. And I'd pick it up. I go, Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, for the dog poo poo this morning. I pray that that owner will be born again, and that he will get saved and that you would use my joy and my cleaning up the dog poo poo to save his soul. And I did this sincerely. It wasn't fake. I was happy to clean up the dog poo poo. And I did it day after day after day. And I can tell you one thing, the devil didn't like me praying for his soul, cleaning up dog poo poo. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> the dog stopped going poo poo in my yard. He went poo poo in the other yard. Every morning he missed my yard and he never went ever again poo poo in my yard. He went on Bob Brecken's yard, my neighbor next to me. And so the moral of the story is just forgive. Walk in forgiveness. And I'm so glad I didn't do a dastardly deed to that dog, except forgive that owner. And that owner and I became dear friends. And I was able to share the Lord and talk about the things of God with a clear conscience that I didn't kill his dog. I leave you with this word to pause and ponder. Thank mm -hmm. you.